What we've got here is a nail and a screw. And when you're considering whether your project be nailed or screwed, here is something that you might want to keep in mind. Nails are cheap, and screws are expensive. Nails are friction fit in the wood fiber and rely on wood to remain dry or remain at the same water content to provide that friction along the nail shank that the nail initially got installed at whereas screws hold with their threads engaging the wood. Also, nails are flexible and they can bend many times. Screws are inflexible and they break. Even though they are made of the same steel, uh, if a nail and a screw of the same thickness are bent side by side, which I'm going to demonstrate here, here is a nail and a screw. You can see that the well, how do I hold this? That the nail shank and the screw shank are of the same same diameter there you can see. Okay, that's the best shot on that one. You will see that this screw is brittle and it breaks. And the why the the way why is not the way. The reason why it's brittle is because these screws screw threads were made uh by uh, manufacturing method called rolling so these threads are rolled which is the threads are displaced the, this wire was thicker than it is now and just like play-doh putty the, you know when you squeeze it and it comes out uh, between your fingers something like that the threads came out when they when this wire was squeezed okay something like that is how nail rolling or thread rolling looks like so that is some work that's being done on the screw. That work causes work hardening. And which treatment this the nail didn't go through. So this screw did go through work hardening and they are brittle and this is how they behave. You can bend them over once and if you want to straighten them that's that's about it. To break the screw, sorry, that was the screw, to break the nail, you know, you can bend them over repeatedly, now it started turning, sorry, you know, you can bend them over repeatedly, twice, many times before they fail, and it's three, four, because these didn't go through work hardening, okay, that's five, there we go, finally it snapped, and you can see ductile failure on the cross section of it. Just wait for the camera to focus. Yeah, that buttery smooth surface that you see is ductile failure where it appears to be coarse. That's the part of brittle failure where it just snapped through. So that's screw versus nail. Brittle and ductile.